guys, it's Allison. Today I'm doing a How I End My Instagram Pictures because I've been getting a lot of a lot of requests to do it, and also because I said in my What's on My Phone, What's on My Galaxy S6 video that I would do it because I didn't talk about it in that video. I briefly went over it, so this is like an in-depth How I End My Instagram Pictures. So I hope you guys enjoy. Okay, so I'm gonna click on my apps, and I'm gonna go to my editing folder, and the first app I always use. Um, to do any picture is Be Funky because it's just an app that you can do your basic editing on. So I'm going to click on Photo Editor. And this is the last um, picture I edited and I will show you guys the finished like picture over here that's on my Instagram. I'm going to click on Edit and I always crop my picture because I've just been obsessed with like squaring my pictures and having no like white border. I feel like it's not in anymore so um, I'm doing that. Doesn't look delicious. I think it's it. I think it looks delicious, and it was very good. And then I'm gonna brighten up the picture, so I'm gonna put it up a little bit because the lighting was kind of bad. It was very dark in the restaurant, so just wanna do that. And then also kind of like add some contrast. And then I'm going to sat, um, add some saturation, but I don't want to add too much because it m makes kind of like the picture look a little yellow. I'm gonna sharp smart sharpen it to add some uh, to make it look HD kind of do that that's kind of what I do and then I also like to add um, some matte to it so I'm just going to kind of do that be like that okay um, so that's what I do there that's pretty much what I do and if it was like a selfie I would do, use like touch up and I would do like blemish fix or teeth whitening if it's a selfie but since it's not since it clearly isn't I'm going to just save that to the gallery and then we are gonna go to I am to add a add some filters so I'm gonna click on the camera button at the bottom and I'm gonna go to the latest picture I did and I'm just gonna go to they also have like um, different ones to do so like highlights and warmth and stuff but I I mean I could do some highlights um, like and then we're gonna go to the filters I like like I told you guys I like a very bright picture so I you sometimes go to fresh but this is like too much so I like to turn it down a little which I like about filters is that it doesn't make it so harsh so sometimes go to like five or six um, um, I think I did three last time Three or four is good for me, or five, I don't know. I'll go to uh, four. And that is what I do there, and then I just click the green button at the top, and then it's gonna save, and then that is pretty much what I do there, and then I just share it to Instagram. I'm gonna show you guys how I um, did this picture, which is me holding a balloon, standing, like, having, standing um, back from the camera. So I'm um, gonna show you guys how to do that. So I first went to Snapseed, which all my apps are free, by the way. I'm going to open the photo. And I'm going to go to the photo, which is this one. Actually, no, what am I doing? The house and get your life together. Um, you click the, like, pencil, and I'm going to tune the image. Actually, first I want to crop it because I want to make it square first. So I'm going to click on this thing at the bottom, and I'm going to click square. Oops. And that so now it's cropped makes me look happy makes makes me happy now I'm gonna tune the image and I'm gonna add some brightness because you guys know how much I love my brightness and then I'm gonna do contrast and then I'm gonna add some saturation um, highlights and also warmth I'm gonna add a very little so it doesn't make it look yellow and then what you can do is you can like tap you can tap that was before and that's after like you can just see very much of a difference it just in the picture as well and then I also sometimes like to do lens blare lens lens what lens I don't know what I was saying okay so I'm just gonna focus it on here uh, no maybe you don't want to do that I want the blur strength So yeah, we can kind of, we want to blur it out a little. Actually, hold on. Yeah, we just kind of like, we just wanted to blur out some of the like background and stuff. So that's what I did there. And then, yeah, that's what I do. And I just save it. And then I'll like say, it's, so yeah, it's saved. 
And then next, we are going to go to Lido, which, like I told you guys, this is the app that I'm not sure if it's on the App Store. But you guys can find something similar to it. I do that, so I'm going to click on here and open up the photo. Where'd it go? Um, it is. And I like to go to the leaky. Sounds funny to say, I don't know. Okay, um, and I like to go to just like, I don't know, I like, because I was like, the sun was like where the leaks were these trees and houses, so I wanted to kind of like, kind of like make it look like it's like the sun, but like not too harsh, because it just doesn't look natural. So I'm just going to do that, and I kind of like want to take it away a little. Oops. So basically that's that, but I don't know how you can do that, I don't know. You know what, I actually don't, I don't know. So yeah, something like that would be good. So I'm just going to save that, and then I'm just going to uh, in, um, import it to Instagram. The next picture I'm going to edit, actually I'm not editing it for like the entire thing, but I wanted to show you guys how I made this collage, and I used that through Pic Collage. And some of you guys might be asking about like the blur effect, so I wanted to show you guys how to do that. So I basically just took a bunch of my pictures. So as you can see, I did that here. I don't want to like do all of it. So I have it all here. And then all I did was just like obviously add pictures and like just change the template, which I used this one, as you can tell. And then I just added like the background. So I went to this little thing right here. And then I just choose this one, as you can see. And then that's pretty much what I did there. And I went to share. And then I, and I saved it already, so then I'm just going to go to Lido to kind of create like a blurry background, which is awesome. So I'm going to click that, and then I'm going to go to the picture that I just edited right there. And then I'm going to go to the square to make it sure it's squared. And then over here, you can actually change like the brightness of it. So, I mean, the brightness, the blurness. So if you want to make it super blurry like that, you can, and then you can just do a check mark or if you don't want to do that you can just do a basic thing like this and then yeah but I think it's really cool if you do this so yeah that's really cool and you put it you just click the check mark and then you can save it to Instagram and that's how you do that and then one more tip I have if you really like that bright theme then you can go to aviary and I'll show you how to I actually have a picture I'll show you guys right here it is actually a picture of my Dunkin Donuts but I can't find that picture but I will do something similar to it um, so I'm gonna click this one this is a selfie I took and um, when I took this picture there's like a gray background but we're gonna make it white so I am gonna go to um, the whiten tool and I know be funky has like a similar tool to this but I like how this works so I think I'm gonna click this one so we're going to see, um, I'm just going to take the wine tool and just wind up the background. I think this works a lot better if, it, if your um, background is like almost white. I think that works a lot better. If it's like almost a white, that would be awesome. But I'm just going to try and make this as neat. I, hopefully I can make this as neat as I can. But I mean, I'm kind of brushing here because this is a video. So, you know, yeah. Oops, I already messed up. But you know what I mean, like just winding up the background. So... And then I'll save it. It'll just save it, and then you can post it to Instagram. So that's how I edit my pictures. That's not really anything cool or anything, but <laughs> yeah, anyways. So that is how I edit my pictures. It's just gonna save. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I will talk to you guys in the next one. Um, yeah, bye.